afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for October 30th, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern. We have some issues going on uh, uh, that deserves our attention in the California area, then basically might as well address the entire state. We have, uh, as I've described before, low frequencies. These low frequencies are, you know, housed in bodies, uh, biological forms here on, on the planet. And you, when you, we all understand these low frequencies. We understand that they're in a disillusioned direction. That what they believe is, uh, it's uh, really skewed, uh, to put it lightly. So we're we're in a uh, a process here that is. Uh, it's an ending to uh, one uh, control of this planet and a beginning of a new control. I shouldn't even say control. Uh, we're transitioning from the anti-civilization, which is basically uh, annihilation, is the bottom line. There's no other way to, to, to describe it. Uh, it is it, it is an insanity from our perspective that uh, this is how these frequencies believe and feel that through pain and suffering they will be freed uh, into the grips of the heaven. And the strange thing is is that the heaven is inside of us. You see how, now, you, you know, understanding that we understand, we know what external authority is. We know what that means across the board. These frequencies are still gripped in the very lower uh, depths and survival uh, matter uh, frequencies. And so they believe that they have to go somewhere, say. That if they leave their bodies and their gods leave their bodies, that they'll be able to follow into the heaven. And this is you know, a total misconception when you... When you uh, Look at some of uh, Jesus's truths uh, that he spoke of, and then we understand that the kingdom of God is in each and every one of us. And this other stuff, it's external, is a distraction, and it is a manipulation of not only the bodies, of the, the biological forms of this planet, but also the God forms inside the bodies. It's a, it's a manipulation, distraction, seduction type setup. And so you've been taught that your whole life. Your our whole existence is a civilization. Well, until the, the awakening or the understanding comes to clarity of saying that, well, we, we this isn't it. We are it. This is why we don't give attention, heavy duty attention to their shenanigans, uh, what they're doing okay we know that with technologies we can obliterate and eliminate all of the damage that they've done but we do we are concerned about uh, our brothers and sisters that are in harm's way so in this meditation not only in this country but we'll start with america then we will go across the planet because 
our brothers and sisters are all across the planet, not only on it, but they're in it, they're above it, and they're below it. So what we're talking about is the neutralizing the low frequencies. Now, this isn't done by blowing up and nuclear, thermal nuclear holocaust or anything like that. It's the opposite. The power that we all are is in a deep eternal love, which is the highest power. Period. And when we see such things like, you know, and of course, you know, it's not in the twisted and corrupt uh, demon um, media. It is more of us knowing or feeling from our brothers and sisters that communicate with us directly from that state. Not what's really happening. You know, this is, this is how it goes on. This is how it used to go on. You would have friends in different parts of the country, or for that matter, the world, and then they would communicate with you on really what was really happening. And then along came the news and just just began telling lie after lie until today it's just mostly a, a, a script to follow. So it's nothing that we would want to give energy to, it, it, to feed it. So how do we neutralize these lower frequencies housed within these biological forms? Okay. Well, we go into the heart mind and we picture and see as we snap our puzzle pieces together and we form our picture that how do you neutralize low frequency? And understand, everything is a frequency. So if you view those who are being misguided, misdirected, to create such harm to life, and life, as we know, is the highest value in the universe. So it is the supreme value. Well, our direction is to neutralize their low frequency by flooding it with our high frequency. Okay? And those who still house a soul or spirit or God are just on the surface confused and have been corrupted by manipulation. So, and they're totally not connected to their, their, the kingdom of God or their God within them. Then there are those in the biological form that are soulless. They do not have a soul is not housed in that biological form, in that body. We can't really say human because we have been changed and in, 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 uh, genetically uh, manipulated so many times that there's, you know, there's, there's homo sapien, 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 sapien. Homo human, uh, sapien, hybrid. That's what that means, homo sapien. So, so human hybrid. And then we go human hybrid, 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 because there's so many genetic uh, shifts and, and changes that have been uh, used in our makeup. So, uh, you know, a lot of it off world. So, we neutralize it. We don't harm, we just lift the low frequencies into such high frequencies that they can no longer hold form. They can't hold form. If, if you, if you want, just to explain this real quickly, if you went out and, and you said to yourself, and, and, you, and you, you knew how to uh, uh, affect this and engage it, but you were going to accelerate the molecular structure of your body, all right? Your whole uh, biological form, you were going to accelerate its molecular structure so that you could exist in a higher frequency. 
right? What, say you're a third, your third density, so you're in third dimension. So then you go, you say you want to go to fourth uh, uh, dimension or fifth in that body. And so you start to accelerate that body's molecular structure. And what happens is, is that as you continue to do that, the body cannot sustain that type of vibrational frequency. It is not built for that, say. So it's the same with these low frequencies that are on this planet that are creating such havoc. That they, they cannot sustain their frequencies as we lift the vibrational frequency all around them, underneath them, inside of them, above them and below them. There's, they can't, they cannot maintain it. So what happens? Well, those that have the God within them will wake up and understand and they will no longer engage in a, uh, a path of no return, a self-annihilation path. And then they will come into their kingdom of God and their, their whole beingness will shift. And then they'll start understanding and start themselves beginning their journey within them. So, we fill the atmosphere with such an intense high frequency of deep eternal love, permanent. So, we literally construct in etheric form, won't be physical form, etheric, etheric that is able and capable of vibrating at many different dimensional frequencies, as we are when we're out of these bodies. So, picture these array, okay? Picture them in the atmosphere of the planet. And these arrays are covering the atmosphere in a crystalline light form. And then what they do is they literally, and this, this comes down, this frequency is of the highest high from source creation. So the frequency is literally the highest high of deep eternal love. It seeks out the low frequencies, the destructive paths, the annihilation, the self-annihilation, total disrespect for life. And it goes in and harmonizes, which means that their frequency, their lowness, their matter where as low as they are in the frequencies that they are, is neutralized, it's dispersed. Which means that they no longer can vibrate at those frequencies. They have only, really they have two choices. One is to literally be neutralized and to neutralize substance. And basically, when that happens and you're in body, and your, your God is in the body, you 99.99% of the time will wake up and move and shift into the benevolence and tranquility and then begin your journey. Now, if they fight it, they will become in disarray so heavily that they won't be able to function. So, there's not many choices here. And it is up to their higher self, their gods, uh, to communicate with their heart, mind, so that they can make that shift. So ours in the state of California, in every state in this country, America, in every section, in every being, in every life form, our intention and our delivery is directly from the collective consciousness of the universe and of this planet and directly from our creator source creation. And it comes from all of us as gods that we are. 
you completely, in finality, eliminate all of these heavy, low, disruptive frequencies by flooding and saturating with the highest high frequency of deep eternal love. But you can see as things will begin to be eliminated, the uh, lack of the uh, degradation of the social structure of that of California, the uh, debauchery, the manipulation and deceit that is rampant. And it's being, uh, you know, forefronted in, in that particular state. Uh, and uh, it's happening in, in, in all across the country. And we can't have that. You know, that is not where we're going. So we will intend uh, with the strongest of commitment and conviction through the kingdom of God, which resides in each and every one of us, to eliminate these frequencies of the low end through uplifting frequencies of deep eternal love. You picture that. I'll put it this way. It's like you have a human who is totally caked in mud and tar, so disfigured that you can't determine if it's just a blob or is it a human. And when we, and that's their low frequencies stuck to them, and that's how they vibrate. And then as we come in with the deep eternal love frequency of source creation, source creator, mother, father, God, prime source creator, God, collective consciousness of the universes, all of our gods, and we literally saturate and flood them you watch as the tar literally lifts off of them and disintegrates. You literally watch as the mud is vaporized and literally showered off of them. And then underneath, you see a light that begins to emanate from deep within their chest uh, coming from the deep eternal love that we all are. So what we're doing is, is that we are unlocking them that they have been locked up in such confusion, disarray, and misguidance that their belief is totally twisted and wrong. It will lead them to complete self-annihilation, and it will lead everything to self-annihilation. This is not scripted in this timeline. So we will extinguish it. And we will saturate it the same way that we're doing in this country, America. We will do this with all the countries on this planet, above and below it. In any turmoil that may be going on in any of the civilizations beneath the planet, we will cause it to become higher frequency. This is the only way, collectively, that this can be done. Any other way would be a self-annihilation of the surface of the planet and the civilization. This is just ludicrous. This is this is what happened on Mars. So, I think everybody has a true intent from the heart center, from the heart mind, that we are the all deep eternal love and we are the highest power ever created and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever and beyond. This is not with evil mind. This is through the deep eternal love that we all are and through the kingdom of God, which is in each and every one of us. So if you will, go to the place where you are not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are. And the first thing we want to do is to relax. Relax our bodies. They carry us around. They do all kinds of things for us. The hands, the feet, the legs the eyes, the hair, the teeth, everything. We relax them. Drop the shoulders. The majority of this civilization is in such tense condition that the shoulders are always crunched in some way, shape, or form. And if people
people would just take a moment to understand it. Wow, I didn't realize my shoulders were that, you know, crunched uh, up. I didn't realize I was carrying so much stress and tension in the lower, uh, my lower back or in the cervical spine and my neck area. Uh, you know, I, well, I massaged thousands of people uh, and I, I learned how they held their stress, anxiety, and tension in their bodies. I knew where it was, see? And even if they thought that they were this calm and, you know, happy-go-lucky, the majority that did that were the most tense and stressed. They just were able to hide it better than others. So relax the body and let go of all of the things that you may have embraced in thought form from the ego mind, uh, collected uh, distractions, uh, hurriedness, uh, frustration, whatever it may be, uh, between the last 24 hours. And you just negate it, eliminate it. You have really no interest uh, or motivation to keep something like that. It's almost like a ball and chain around each one of your ankles when you try to walk. It's not necessary for us to burden ourselves with such nonsensical frequencies. So we just let them go. And as we relax the body from head to toe, inside and out, we're going to want to move into the now. Because you know something? All we will ever have is the now. So many of us spend so much time into the future and into the past that we never, ever give the now even a glance. And the now is where we all truly are. So you stay in the now. Everything is happening in the now, always has. Past, present, future. You focus on the now. And by doing this, you still the ego mind and you still the subconscious mind. Because you're just focused on the very moment. We are here to enjoy our lives in these bodies. We are not here to go through pain, sorrow, anguish, struggle, frustration, depression. We are not here to do that. So... In the now, you quiet and you move into stillness, which is a good thing. And you don't go into the past and drag the past into your future. That's what a lot of us do. We go back, you know, years and years and, and we review things that we, as if we're doing them in the moment, in the now, and we're not. Long gone. And this is why we always pursue the bridge over the river of void into the unknown where all of the possibilities are for, waiting for us there. So as you're in the now, you're also, and as you're relaxing the body, also we want to breathe. We want to breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. And as we breath in through the nose, we hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and we breath out through the mouth. And for those of you who are new to this meditation and this now, in this circle of light, the reason we hold our breath is because it focuses us on the now. And it works every single time without fail. You focus on your breathing. You breath in through the nose. You breath out through the mouth. As you breath in, you hold it three seconds. And that three seconds focuses you directly on the now. If you have a hard time sleeping at night, or you see your brain seems to be on fire with this thought after thought after thought, you just can't, you're worried, stressing, fearing about something or something. And you begin to breathe, and you focus on your breathing, and all of that will fade out guarantee you. You can't breathe two breaths and expect it to be gone. You breathe it, and through your patience, it will dissipate and eventually vaporize. You'll, you'll watch, you'll experience it as you completely shift away from it. You're not ignoring it. You're saying, hi, howdy doody, but now you're in the breathing and the breathing, and you are in the now. And those things are not in the now. They are just thoughts. 
So as we breath in, we're breathing in divine positive energy. This comes directly from our creator, create source creation, source creator. And the collective consciousness of this planet and this universe is. And actually, from all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever and beyond, which we are. And the collective consciousness that comes in and we breath in divine positive energy and it goes through our God, through our heart mind, it shares with us. We are here to harmonize the universe. This is part of our mission, is to harmonize this planet. We are not just doing this to do it. We all desire to do it. It is a, one of our, it is a joy to do it and to enact it. And remember, as we do this, we love all things, everything. Where these dark creation energies come from is because we don't love all things. We are the very creators of these low frequencies. Therefore, we are also the dispellers of these low frequencies. And it will be absorbed into the deep eternal love of all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. This is what we do. And we're doing it now to liberate this planet. As we breath out, we breath out all of the ego mind, subconscious mind that's sitting there machine gunning us with all of these thoughts that have nothing they have no, they hold no energy. They're just thoughts. We give them energy. Therefore, we create them and we bring them into a reality. You see, we are the center of all things. And we are the kingdom of God. That does it make any sense that we ignore where we violently attack these lower frequencies that causes us to succumb and be pulled into the lower depths of the frequencies, it doesn't make any sense. And, and history proves itself over and over again. That plays into the hands of the low frequencies. No, we flood them with what we're about to do in this meditation. They will not be able to survive. It is an absolute fact. They will be absorbed into the deep eternal love and the frequency of the highest high. And that'll be it. So remember that we are merged with our heart minds and we are merged with our God. We are all one. Also, arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light. We are around the equator of this planet Earth. The light is the kingdom of the God, the true God, all of us, source creation. Mother, Father God, prime source creator God, we are all family and we are all one. And we have never not been anything else but one. And we have never not been anything else but love. And the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels of this civilization is merged with us. The ascended masters is merged with us. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, Saint Germain, Sananda, Jesus, El Moria, Abundantia, Hoth, Horus, all of them. They came here in God form to assist us during this transition. They have been here a long time. And all of them, the 
angelic civilization, the ascended masters, are only of the highest frequency, from the highest, deepest, eternal love, from the highest, deepest, eternal love. They couldn't be with us if they were not, and they were in the low frequencies. So we are all one, and we are all joined arm in arm, hand in hand, and our kingdom of God light is brilliant. And it will get much brighter as we go through this meditation. We are all encased in perfect spheres of impenetrable, deep, eternal energy, love. Golden, white, pink, light, prime, source, creator, God, mother, father, God, source, creation. Emerald, green, flaming, healing light, Archangel Raphael. Violet, blue, purple, flaming light, Archangel Michael, white fire. Violet ray, purple, transmuting flame. We are pure power, unmatched and unrivaled throughout the existence of all things. We begin to float up, all of us, and we are in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. You picture this and see it. All as gods and kingdom of God, as we literally rise above our bodies and we're at the crown chakra, floating above, we literally are floating above our body. And as we do this, we call out to all of the light energy beings that are in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever and beyond. And only those of the highest high frequencies of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love will come and join us. And they are in full compassion, non-judgment, non-cynicism, non-negativity, non-pessimism, non-aggression, generosity, humbleness, bliss, tranquility, benevolence, kindness, peace, joy. And they come in the Googaplexes. One Googaplex fills this universe. You can research it and then you will know for yourself. They come in multiple Googaplexes. They fill many universes and they are all with us arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this circle of light in this now in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and we are all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is everywhere and intensifying. We call upon all of those inhabitants of inner earth, of dirt to hollow earth, beneath the earth. All of these civilizations have been here for a very long time, longer than we have. And only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love will join us. The others, in low frequency, cannot, for they cannot sustain the deep, eternal love frequency while they're in these low frequencies. And only those who are in full compassion, non-judgment, non-cynicism, non-negativity, non-pessimism, humbleness, generosity, tranquility, benevolence, joy, peace, 
kindness. Well, join us. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this circle of life. They join us in this now, and they join us in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one, and we are all of, and our God, light, energy is brilliant. Its brightness is eliminating the darkness of space. Brighter than the brightest star. We call upon all of the off-worlders and galactics, those, all of these civilizations, and only those who are of the highest, of deepest eternal love, from the highest of deepest eternal love, to join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They have been assisting us in our evolution and our enlightenment and our ascension in freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-negativity, non-pessimism, non-cynicism, benevolent, tranquil, peaceful, joyous, stillness, humbleness. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in the circle of light, in this now, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one. We are all love, and our God-like energy is all that there is. Harmonizing this very planet Earth and its brilliance and the entire universe and beyond. And all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever and beyond. We call upon our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They're in full compassion, non-judgment. They have no ego. It is long retired. Full kindness, generosity, humbleness, benevolence, tranquility, peace, stillness. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this circle of light, in this meditation, in this now. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are all one. We are all love and our God, light, energy is literally saturating all existence in the highest high of deep eternal love, light, energy. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and above and below this planet Earth. In this now, in this meditation, in this circle of light. They, and 
only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They are in non-judgment, full compassion, non-negativity, non-pessimism, non-cynicism, benevolent, tranquil, peaceful, joyful, blissful, generous and humble. It's to name a few of them. Fairies, the sprites, the elves, the dwarves, the gnomes, the trees, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, the mermaids, the dolphin, the whale. And they come in the trillions, shapes, sizes, colors, figurations, of which we have never, ever seen before. They join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We're all one. We're all love. And our God light energy is absolutely saturating and lifting and harmonizing all of the low frequencies on, in, above, and below this planet, Earth. Neutralizing disharmony, confusion. Manipulation, anger, aggression, hatred, vileness, harm to all things, all life. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. We created this sphere, all of us. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. All of our meditations that we have been doing, heading to two full years, all active, every second of every second, of every minute, of every hour, of every day, of every week, of every month, of every year, forever. This sphere, the center circle, it can be seen, heard, and felt in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever and beyond. It is source creation. It is the highest high of the deepest eternal love and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever and beyond. You feel it flood us, saturate us. Our biological forms, our bodies, our gods, the kingdom of God, it floods and saturates everything. It harmonizes all of these in, incessant low frequencies in survival matter. It harmonizes all of the debauchery, all of the destruction all of the intimidation, all of the things that these low frequencies instigate, watch as they become neutralized. Watch as the harmony of the vibrational frequencies begin to take over. Without harm, without anger, without revenge, without aggression, but with pure, deep, eternal love. This is the highest power. And watch as it literally raises frequencies to the highest high. Watch as things shift and change. This is not just imagery. It is the kingdom 
of God. We are the heaven on earth. Doesn't it make sense to all of us? Bring the kingdom of God outside all of us, blanketing this planet, blanketing everything that fights against the love that it is, saturating all disharmony, disruption. We are the kingdom of God. Life is the supreme value, the highest in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. Feel this frequency. This is what we truly are. This is who we are. There is no fear. There is no anxiety. There is no stress. There is just deep, eternal love harmonizing all disruptive frequencies, blanketing, saturating, and flooding nonstop from this day forward. It will continue to flood and gush more and more intensely until all of the disharmonized frequencies are in perfect form highest frequency of deep eternal love, where they are all uplifted, where there are no longer low frequencies on this planet, in it, on it, above it, and below it. All of our brothers and sisters, no matter where they are believing, no matter what their direction is, we love them all. We saturate them all, every single one of them without fail, without interruption, without hesitation. We love all of them, all life, all things. By doing this through the heart, mind, and as the kingdom of God, as each and every one of us are, there is only one outcome. This planet is the kingdom of God. This planet is the heaven. And this planet is the paradise. And this planet will affect this entire universe as we transform it at the highest high of deep eternal love frequencies. You can feel it. You feel it through the heart mind. You feel it through the kingdom of God within you. You feel it as the God you are, the heart of God, the mind of God, and you are source creation. This is where we came from. This is what we're here to do, and we're doing it. It is absolutely liberation, total freedom, and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever and beyond. I'll join you in a meditation. I'll return to close this out.
your heart mind, you will see it all the time. And you will enforce it 24 seven. So the expanse of it is not just brief, it is from this day forward. So not only the state of California, but all the states in America, in all the countries and all of the planet, this has commenced. The intensity will grow and it will continue to reconfigure to the higher and higher and higher frequencies of source creation and the kingdom of God. We are the kingdom of God, therefore this planet is the kingdom of God and no low frequency can operate or function in the kingdom of God. So take it with you through the rest of the day, into the evening and night, and into the following morning. You will see, even as quickly as now, as things begin to change. As the frequencies literally eliminate, the highest, highest frequencies eliminate the low-end frequencies of all of the debauchery, all of the destruction, all of the harm being neutralized and eliminating once and for all, permanently. We will have a time for change call tonight at 9 p.m. on this line, Eastern. And we will be back here October 31st, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern.